Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video we're going to be talking about basically the worst sneakers of 2019. 2018. Gotta fix that. Um, so basically the worst sneakers of 2018 we're going to be talking about a little bit about quality, resell and you know just hype because at the end of the day hype is the main thing behind the driving factor to why most people buy the sneakers. It's just you know if off-white wasn't as big the off-white 10 collection with Nike it just wouldn't resell you know it just that's how it works that's how things go um so yeah instead of making your average uh, top sneakers of 2018 I thought I'd pick on pick on everyone's brains and pick out the worst sneakers so I did have a lot of contenders for this and most of them were just my disfatis dissatisfaction yeah, I probably didn't say that right. Whatever. Dissatisfaction of the sneaker and the quality and resale. But, you know, I came down to a list of three things that, you know, sneakers that are just like, no, nah, you got to just leave it, leave in 2018. Like, new year, new sneakers, like, just move on. Like, please, just don't go back that far. Um, so, at number three, we are going to have a controversial sneaker. It's, all these sneakers are controversial, just straight up. It's either you hate them or you love them. Like it's just like. Uh, so number three, we have the Balenciaga Triple S's. So this shoe is probably the most controversial. Actually, no, they're all pretty controversial. The Balenciaga Triple S's are. Pff, I don't know how I didn't put them at number one. Like it was very tempting to just be like, nah, you're number one. Like I really hated them and. There's a couple reasons why I hated them, and I just think that they're, they're pretty much going on the real big dad shoe trend of 2018, which I do not want to continue in 2019. I mean, there's a couple good ones, but that's another video, another day. So, the they just followed on the 2018 trend of dad shoes, and I think the reason why I didn't like it is just, it was just too big. Like, the shoe was bigger than my head. Like, if I put the shoe, like, right here, it's, like, bigger than my head. I'm not even joking. Like, and the people that were wearing them as well, they, they, they were, like, the skinniest legs. Like, they have this giant-ass shoe with, like, the skinniest legs. And, honestly, it really just did not make them any taller. I mean, it probably made them, like, that much taller, but that's not the point. They just looked so out of place with skinny-ass legs and these big-ass shoes. Like, come on, like, there's no need to do that. Like, you just got to own your height these days. Like, if you're, like, 5'5", five, five, own it. If you're 6'6", six, six, congratulations, you're, you're tall. Like, honestly, these shoes were just so bad, and this sun is just as worse. I definitely would not be caught alive in them some people they absolutely love them congratulations like i'm not judging you if you want to wear them wear them it's just i personally believe that leave it leave in 2018 like um just leave in 2018 there's no need for that in 2019 uh number two oh my gosh that's getting sunlight at number two we have the i don't exactly know what they're called i think they're the zoom fly miracle runners um, so basically they are the off-white ones, the pink and the black, um, they're a funny shoe, like, they could have been at number three, because, I mean, they weren't, honestly, I didn't hate them, but in terms of retail, oh, yeah, in terms of resale price, they didn't shoot through the roof. So this one was probably out of the Off-White 10 collection, the lowest reselling one. So basically, if you want, you could literally just go and pick it up for under 350 bucks. Like, it's nothing. Like, I think I saw a pair at Kicks SDW for 280 bucks. Like, they're literally a shoe you could... Like, I've heard people going in the gym in them. Like, you could literally pick these shoes up, go to the gym. Uh, in terms of the quality and all that, I believe it's pretty good quality. I'm not too big of a fan of the clear seat... It, the clear see-through part of it I just think for that shoe and that color like they shouldn't have done that I reckon but you know off-white edgy um, so go with it so resale wasn't too high they were pretty um, easy cop like I'm pretty sure the off-white Melbourne store they just like surprise take 
you guys should definitely go and follow them on their Instagram to like you know keep up with their drops off white Melbourne or off white anything um, they usually just do surprise drops they did the surprise drop of the Converse Chuck Taylors the white ones like yesterday and you know boy missed out um yeah otherwise it was, it was an okay quality the resale prices were like shit so you know and they, honestly they've just been sitting like nobody there's no real desire for the sneakers so yeah um then at number one you know we have i think this is probably the biggest belly flop of the year of 2018 biggest belly flop of 2018 let's just put it like that so for the biggest belly flop we have the adidas times dragon ball z collection so much of a belly flop that the shoes are worth more than uh, I mean the sh sneaker boxes are more collectible than actual sneakers so I've heard a lot of failed stories with these ones um they they honestly just really didn't do this collection justice I saw better mock-ups of freaking like just custom designs like people were putting customs on of other shoes like the Nike off white Prestos that had one like a Goku colorway and I'm like far out like that orange though like mm. and then there's the Adidas one and I'm like mm. you know like I could wear that but you know like I don't really want to um at the same time which is really whack like at the start of the year before like they started getting released they were like super high like all oh, they're dropping these but then like yeah the resale and just terms of quality i'm not 100 percent sure what the quality was like on these because like myself i i mean i like dragon ball z i'm just i wasn't really gonna go for the collection because i didn't really want to have to buy them all and like you know store them especially adidas did not use any of their most popular colorways like on oh, the colorways models like they honestly could have done like ultra like an ultra boost one they probably could have done a y3 i mean i'm pretty sure they could have convinced kanye to let them use a yeezy like honestly like imagine a goku times kanye west yeezy like why like they could have even used their 4d technology that they've recently been doing a little bit more of but not enough of and like come out with a better better silhouette of something but you know Adidas, like, they just, Don didn't, like, pff, why not, like, um, I'll put a couple on the screen to show you guys what I'm talking about, they did do a lot of, um, dad shoe sort of things, and, um, they tried to, I guess, they tried to make color silhouettes that were, like, pff, like, popular, I guess, I don't know, um, I personally didn't pick up any, I know that there's, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are still sitting at Adidas, and you'll probably be able to see some at Adidas outlets very soon, they've got some at Kix STW, I'm not 100% sure where else they might have some if you want to find some, I've heard a, couple, a lot of stories of people buying, like, this collection in, like, three, four, five pairs, and then, yeah, you know, just losing their money, it's like, hashtag resellers um but you know gotta love them as well anyways in the description guys let me know what you think the worst sneakers of 2018 is uh if you want to hear what my top five hype beast sneakers of 2018 was also let's get this video to like let's say like five likes and i'll do it because you know why not content um it's still early on the year i mean it's only been 15 16 days into the year so far so we can still reflect and review on how 2018 was a year together and Hopefully we can learn from the mistakes that, or oh, at least the company, the brands can learn from their mistakes of 2019, uh, 2018, and bring back us some, you know, good stuff in 2019. We we already know Adidas is failing pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, like, um, but you know, that's life, I guess. Anyways, that's it. Your boy Ben YG bringing back another video. If you haven't already, go and subscribe down. Let's hit 250, cause you know, why not? only 13 subs like only 13 of you who haven't subscribed go down hit the subscribe button it doesn't take that much effort turn on post notifications to keep up with all the latest videos and you know um yeah have a great day